Uh, woo! A match it up, baby. I'm so excited for season 19 of America's Next Top Model. We are watching it today. We've watched almost or have watched every season of America's Next Top Model. And if you want to catch up, there is a playlist. It is linked below for you. Um, it's good times. So grab some popcorn, take a seat on the couch or in your bed, and let's see how these makeovers went. Maybe we'll get some cute makeovers, and I'm sure we'll get a lot of ugly. Let's do it. So here we are, season 19, episode thrice. Let's press the go button. Okay, like, let's do it. We're at Kristoff Salon. Guys, welcome to the Kristoff Salon. Woo! Kelly Catron is in this episode. It's gonna be iconic. <laughs> Welcome to the salon. I hope you're as excited as we are about the transformation today. Yeah. I'm excited. These envelopes are your makeover. The good news is, for the first time ever, you're going to have the choice of whether you actually want to have a makeover. Oh. To remember that this is Tyra's idea of what will make you beautiful. But the catch is, you have to decide yes or no before we tell you what's inside. Okay, T. Okay, T. Okay, T. If any of these girls say no, they're going to be up for elimination. You already know it. Tyra would be so mad if you were like, I don't want to do the makeover that Tyra wants for me. Oh, Tyra would come in there storming in and she'd be like, who are you? Do you think you're a model and you can show up to a shoot? And if you don't want the hair color or makeup they do on you, you can just walk out? No. You know what? A model would never. Like she always brings the drama. And I love Tyra for that. Because if you told a model in real life, we're going to make your blonde hair jet black, most likely they're going to say no and their agents are going to be pissed. So Miss Darian. Do you want to get made over? Or? Yes, I do. Yes, she does. Don't open it. Yvonne. Yes, ma'am. Leela. Yes. Okay. Natasha. Yeah. Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maria. Hell oh, no. No, Maria. <laughs> wow. She says, hell no, this girl's from Harvard. How stupid could you be right now? <gasps> so annoyed by that. Not only did she say no, she said, hell no. Girl, don't disrespect Miss Tyra Banks like that or I will come for you, okay? Damn, she's really trying to get eliminated. And the girl goes, "She's she went to Harvard. She can't be that dumb. Oh, the tea. Whoa, it just got spicy in here, baby. Destiny. Yeah. Yes. Laura? Yes. Alyssa? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Victoria. It's a baby. It might not be really who I am. Okay, yes or no, let's move it. No. Okay, no for Victoria. All right. Thank you, I'll take that. Ooh. Victoria declined it. I was like, this is stupid, because if anyone needs a makeover, it's her. If I had to work with Kelly Catron, I would have an anxiety attack every single day. It is a lot. It's like, whoa, girl. It's not that serious. I mean, whoa. Okay, yes or no. She goes, da, 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 no, mm -mm. make the decision. So let's open them up. Two girls said no. They're f Destiny, what's your destiny? Lines oh. is in the front and shaved in the back. Like, I'm so pissed. What? Blair Bob. You're getting rid of those brains. Ice blood and bleach <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Rhea, I'll be talking to you. Let's get the girls started first. Yeah. Come on over. Really worried at this point. My mom has always taught me trust your gut instinct. I don't want this to be something that's going to hurt me in the competition. I'm so glad. <laughs> trust your gut instinct. Your gut instinct should have told you that Tyra would be so mad if you didn't get the makeover. Your gut instinct is f***ed up. Sorry. I'm gonna get you looking like America's Next Top Model. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I've had my braids for a long time. It's kind of been my signature thing. Ooh, I can't wait to see her bob. This is gonna be really cute. <laughs> keep your braids. And then yesterday, social media is saying they didn't like they didn't it. Like my braids. Not Wait, this is the first time I think I've seen Tyra without a wig on. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I don't know, but it's definitely possible that I'm hallucinating, but I've never seen her natural hair out. Um, wow. She probably has extensions in, but like, that's not a wig. And thank God, because those wigs were getting a little crazy for a few seasons, Tyra. I'm sorry, but they were. They were getting a little wild. I'm ready for change. I'm not afraid. I'm ready. They're gonna give me a long layered bob. Oh! I love my makeover. I feel like I can just walk into any casting call and get paid. 
Okay. Hmm. What's my opinion on this? Um, I, she looks almost the same in a weird way. Like I know it's a completely different hairstyle, but she pretty much looks the same and like the same amount of pretty in both photos. Like I don't think it changed her look at all. It maybe made her look a little more commercial. The side bang almost makes her forehead look bigger, but her forehead's not big. I wish they did like a front bang instead of like a side bang. I don't know. I'm not living. I wish they made her hair brighter, more of like a soft brown, gave her some bangs and really cut that bob like kind of blunt. This is just too in between. I'm not living for it. Let's have a conversation. All right. Here we go. No to a makeover. And why is that? My great grandmother who was full-blooded Cherokee Indian and she had hair similar to mine. And I, I take a lot of pride in that heritage, you know, and some of my Jewish relatives, when I see a model say that they don't want to do something because it's connected to them. And when it's something that's temporary, it makes me question if they should be in the fashion industry. Because the fashion industry is really not about you. You are a canvas. I want you to open yours and see what it was going to be. Curly and layers and highlights. Red, long, and curly. I'm panicking at this point. Yes, I should have made the decision to get the makeover, and I'm kicking myself. So I'm like, did I just self-sabotage? I'm gonna be very interested to see what social media has to say about you guys saying no, and what the judges have to say about that. You did self-sabotage. Y'all needed makeovers. Gorgeous girls, but like their hair was lacking. Uh, uh, uh. Like, give me some life to those locks. Please, Tyra, make them get makeovers, please. <gasps> And short hair. I'm really excited with this whole new, like, edgy look. I wouldn't call it edgy. I say this literally all the time with America's Next Time Model, but I think she looked more like a model in the before photo and more like she's being styled for a photograph in the second photo. Like, they took some uh, digitals of her and she looks stunning, and then she got glammed up, which is totally fine. Like, she definitely looks more glam after, and I don't mind it. It's not my favorite. I think at the time, it was really, really cute. I like the roots before, though. And and I like the natural texture she has going on. If we go back a little bit in this video, before they actually blew out her hair and curled it, it looked so good. And I thought they were gonna leave it like that. I thought it was gonna stay in that kind of like messy texture and that was cute. I would have loved that. I don't mind the bangs either. I just wish they were forward. I wish they were completely down on her eyebrows. I mean, she looks cute. I don't hate this makeover. It's just not my favorite, you know? Because you have a lion's mane, I think we need to just- My God, she has gorgeous hair. Like it just looks so much bigger and like brighter and like everything just elevated. Well, she looks the same. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they had the opportunity to have like a huge copper mane of hair and they missed the opportunity to do it. And I'm just a little bit sad about it. <sighs> I will get over it someday. But right now I'm upset that they didn't take that opportunity and they kind of just made her hair the same and styled it differently. They added a few highlights, but the highlights weren't the greatest. They were kind of like just one here, one there. Like, uh, give me more, give me more. Did they tell you we're taking this off? Yeah. You're gonna lose this part of your eyebrow. And so when makeup artists do your face, they're gonna do your eyebrows like this. <gasps> Okay, Bella Hadid. I'm for sure a threat now. This look is amazing. Why are you giving me nothing? This gave me more than nothing. It actually gave me literally like on the floor, through the floor, through the pavement, through the next floor, through the pavement again, nothing. Like I was so rock bottom this one. Like her eyebrows even looked the same. Like they literally took off the ends of her eyebrow. They said, girl, we're scalping your brows. And then still her brows looked the same. I don't even know what they did to her hair. I couldn't tell you. I think they gave her extensions. I don't know. It doesn't look very good. Destiny, please get a good makeover. Please, I need one. I'm in love. You're You're worried about looking like a okay. total like you need to own the fact that you're the edge. This week, I've been in the bottom two. I know that I have to step up my game, but um. Here comes the tears. I don't feel confident. Why are you so worried about looking like a lesbian? I don't know. Tell me why. Why are you nervous about that? I don't want to be known for like liking chicks. Do you like girls and boys or just girls? And boys, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Cause that's not like that's not what defines me. I just don't want to look like a little boy. Okay. Whoa. Also, God, Tyra's so good. She's like, why do you want to look like a lesbian? <laughs> Like, Tyra just says, I love how she's just so bold. <laughs> like, why do you want to look like a lesbian? I'm like, well, what? Um, honestly though, what the f wrong with looking like a lesbian? It's a little weird to say that. Why would she not want to look like a lesbian? No, you're gonna look really hot and really beautiful. It's about how you feel inside. 
the iconic awful before picture. Oh my lord. That is a haircut. Like, I love that it's like one inch on this side and then 10 inches on this side. I've never seen any haircut like it. You know, it's giving me punky vibes. So I'm here for it. Um, it's still giving me nothing. There has to be something I like in this episode. Please make one good makeover. At first, I had butterflies in my stomach. Pretty much always have had long hair. Oh, they're gonna do Britney. Oh. Change. I'm really happy about it. I was literally oh, about to say, they're gonna do Britney so good, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> they did her so bad. It's a fun haircut. I could vibe with it. Like if she had the right outfit on and she really did that whole, you know, 70s vibe, I could see it. I like the color. I think it's really the styling for me. Like, I think the styling is just not correct. They should have just kept her before length and cut and added a copper tint to it. You know, like it's just not working. We still haven't found one look that I've liked yet. This is crazy. This is actually a first. They skipped right over Alyssa because she didn't get anything done. And I'm gonna skip right over her too. I'm so sorry, Alyssa. I don't know, it's boring, I'm bored. Her skin looks almost healthier in the after shot, but I think that's just the makeup and the lighting. Um, and in the before shot, I don't know. I just think her dark hair looks more better, natural, pretty. I hate all of these. Yvonne. Again, just a whole lot of nothing, Yvonne. They didn't do jack to you. I'd be so mad if I was gonna get a makeover and they just did nothing. I'm getting icy blonde hair. Please be good. Oh my God, I love it. Wait, do we have one that I like? Count, it's one stop. <gasps> and I'm definitely a I got chill. I just got chills. Oh! I just can't wait. I think this is gonna be super high fashion and super editorial. So I just had to rewind that to check uh, what her name is. They didn't put her name. Somebody up with the editing uh, and didn't include her name because every other person had their name shown. This girl didn't. I don't know what her name is, but that makeover, they did her so good. First of all, this blonde, can we talk about how perfect and gorgeous it is? It is this like creamy blonde and it is so sexy. Her hair looks so healthy and beautiful. I love the bleached brows. I always love a bleached brow and she rocks the whole look. She looks like a high fashion supermodel. I am obsessed. Thank God I finally got one that I actually liked. And that concludes cycle 19. I can't believe there was only one girl's makeover that I liked. That's never happened before. Usually I had to like pick and choose which ones I really loved, which ones I really didn't like. This one, there was one single one that was beautiful. I don't know the girl's name because they didn't show her name. It's a whack season. What was that? Whatever. To each their own. Just because I didn't like the makeovers doesn't mean you can't. I don't know. That was sad. <laughs> I was hoping for so much more. <laughs> if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can also follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. I am everywhere all the time. If you want my hair color, I'm wearing super red. It is linked below for you. And you can also shop my hair care and my hair color on our website, xmodohair.com. You can also check out our Instagrams for hair inspiration at xmodohair for hair care and xmodo color for color. Check it out, it's linked below. Make sure you text me at this number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your text messages and yes, I'll be texting back a few of you if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you would like to live your extra life with me, please do. My merch is so cute, so comfy, and I wear it all the damn time. You can shop it with the link below or at xmondohair.com. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ashley. She says, hey Brad, I need your help. I want to make over, but I don't know where to start. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Your hair is so long. I love your natural wave. It's so pretty. Do a Paparuno, but like do it like at this height right here, you know? I think you should grow the bangs out and do a curtain bang. Have the bangs be wavy as well, I think would look super good on you. And then I think you should do a deeper brown. That way it's super glossy and super shiny. I really do like the darker hair on you. And I think with the haircut change, it's gonna be enough of a change to make you feel brand new again. If you do it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.